big welcome to you all to the Estadio de Montilivi. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith to provide the commentary for you. The action today is from the cup. It's the quarterfinal. It is Girona against Valencia. Yeah, great chance to get to the semis here for both sides. Both sides are ambitious. And both sides more than capable of going on and winning this competition. Oh, he spotted that pass beautifully. He could take them on here. Space to cross the ball now. He's tackled well. It was a good challenge. It's led to a corner. Corner played in. This is the lineup today for Girona. Well, we put it up. And what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Valencia will go with this team today. Jasper Sillison plays in goal. John Stone starts alongside Elekim Mangala in the heart of defence, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Deflected out for a throw. Well, in the search for a Valencia victory, you've got to go with the, this particular player as one who really could be the ace in the pack. His finishing ability is spectacular. It has been down the years. I know he works hard on it in training, and you can see the results on the pitch. For Valencia, a good chance. And they put away the first goal of the game. That earlier incident, the big deflection. Well, that's the life of a defender. You try and put your body in the way, but sometimes it ricochets off. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Valencia with the lead. So we'll restart with a throw in. Guedes. Attacking now. Rodrigo. Taking on the defenders. Delivery to the far post. Well, he scored to stretch their lead, double their advantage. But what about that goal for Valencia, Allen? Well, coming in from the right, that was so inviting. Wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Rodrigo. Can whip it in now. Aiming at the near post here with a cross. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. It is Lozano. If you wanted one name to pick out from the pre-match media focus, it would be Alexander Kolarov. He is considering packing the game in. Has a go here. The post is bounced out. Well, that's game back on again now. The deficit cut in half. They've worked hard to do this. They've certainly not given up. My goodness, now that will get the opposition panicking, I think, a little bit. They could break through again for an equaliser. Well, that's a goal he'll want to keep for his own archives, I'm sure, because he doesn't get too many, the defender, but he's got this one. When he pops up in the opposition's box, he, he never looks uncomfortable. He is one of those defenders that can look like a striker at times. 
Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Room now out of the wing. Good position for the cross. Stopping the cross, important job for the defender. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Has to be! That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yep, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Condog Beer. Well, at the moment, it's V for victory for Valencia, but I wouldn't bank on it if their supporters' anxieties begin to communicate itself to one or two of the players as well. It's quite a fragile lead, this. Clear opportunity! Goalkeeper got to it somehow. Any keeper would be better than that one. Put in the corner. And the man in the middle, Scott, there. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Some players arriving in the middle now. Saw the direction of the pass. Job half done, Alan Rilly, although they've only got this one goal advantage. Um, but they'd love to be in this position. If you said beforehand they'd be going in at half-time in the lead, they'd be thrilled. Oh, they take that all day long. I think they're probably a bit fortunate to be in the position that they're in. But... Uh... just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start Arias Condog Beer here they are still probing away it's a good hit really stretched to make the save, top class. Put the corner in the middle. This could be an opportunity. Well, coming up, of course, on EA Sports, we present the La Liga fixture. Valencia, they'll be facing Sevilla away from home. Yeah, I think we're in for a few fireworks between these two teams. Plenty of goals in store as well. There's a substitution for Valencia in the offing. It's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you. It's risky. Telemans. Gonna try his luck. Goal. They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Two for him on the day. And two very well taken goals. Let's have another peek at that goal. Three one the scoreline as we restart the game. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Given possession away here. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession, and haven't we seen some lovely football out there? knocked it about it's been difficult for the opposition to get near to that ball at times they've been given a real chasing well movement in the transfer market manchester city have gone in to get him and they've got him yeah about 75 million that is a oh they thought they were in but the flag has gone up 
It's been another good day. I say another good day. It's not easy playing up front. You know, you did it for many years and very successfully. And that's a, a successful outing for this forward today. I thought he might be up against it, actually, against this defence, but nothing of the sort. He was top dog. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Telemans, he's got possession back for his team. Well, this could be a chance from the ball played over the top. Off the keeper, back into play. Well, the goalkeeper now at least can uh, relax a little bit. Uh, he was certainly tested to the full extent of his reflexes just a moment or two earlier. Yeah, I mean, the second save a lot simpler than the first, that's for certain, but great goalkeeping. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Good interception there. Ten minutes left of regular time. And it is Lozano. Hasn't held it, the goalkeeper. Telemans. Football is a passing game, and goodness me, they're passing the ball around the opposition beautifully here. Yeah, there's been a good tempo to it, good movement off the ball, and they've made the opposition work really hard. Could get a goal back here, pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. Where is? Telemans. Well, it was close enough to keep the interest right to the end. The final whistle has gone here, and the game is finished at 3 1. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. So often we think of his creative abilities, that knack of picking out a pass. 